Reading Myanmar, Vowels, Lesson 5. Now in this lesson, you recognize these two symbols. They're two vowels on their own, and they appear in the same location. However, when combined together, they create a new sound. You already seen an example in that in a previous lesson, and you're going to see it repeated often in some of our vowel lessons. The placement is to the left and right of the consonant. The consonant will always be surrounded by these two symbols. Now the pronunciation is like the letters A W in the word law. However, it it has three different tones. And so the three forms that it takes on using this symbol and this symbol create different tones. So let's just look at those for a moment. Our first example is the low tone, that long level tone. The second example is the creaky tone, as you might expect, because that's the symbol that indicates a creaky tone, as discussed in our lesson on tones. The third example, then, is the high tone. Quite honestly, the creaky tone is not used very often. The romanized form in the language app is the letters AW. In the dictionary, it's something you have to learn. It's a backward C. The usage is moderate, particularly for the low and high tone. Again, the creaky tone is seldom used. But now here's something else that's a little bit tricky. That low tone, the example on the far left, has an alternative form. Remember this form. We considered it in a lesson on that individual vowel. It has to be used with certain consonants. Here's the problem. When you try to add this symbol to it, there's not really room. So a completely new symbol has to be created to indicate that low tone usage with certain consonants. And that's what it looks like. So here are three examples using this particular vowel. The word for reveal, bo, bo. The word for preach, which uses the high tone, ha, ha. And the word for to be called, call, call. So I've selected two different examples from the language app, two different tones used, both the low tone and the high tone. Under the heading, the preaching work, the word for preach actually uses this vowel twice. So you see it here used with the consonant that's between these two symbols, and once again here with the consonant between those two symbols. The next example comes from the section happiness, anger, and fear. It's the statement, he feels happy. So here's the example of this vowel using the low tone. Listen to both these examples. This is a, a vowel that is easy to pronounce because it takes on different forms and has an alternative form for the low tone. It makes it a little more difficult. And that completes this lesson.